case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1995 case, United States v. Gertner, the United States District Court for the District of Massachusetts examined the extent to which clients can keep their communications with lawyers confidential, even when the government seeks that information. The case arose when the Internal Revenue Service demanded that attorneys reveal the identity of a client, John Doe, who had paid over $10,000 in cash for legal services. John Doe was facing criminal charges in a narcotics case from 1991 and 1992. The attorneys argued that disclosing this information would breach attorney-client privilege and the client's rights, as well as their ethical obligation to maintain confidentiality. The government filed a petition to enforce summonses in an attempt to obtain this information. The court ultimately ruled that the information demanded by the IRS was privileged and need not be disclosed, given the unique circumstances of the case. This centered around the fact that the client was currently facing criminal charges and the information sought by the government could incriminate him in the ongoing proceedings. In denying the government's petition, the court held that attorney-client privilege could be invoked in the case at hand. As such, the attorneys were not obligated to disclose their client's identity or information related to the payment, and judgment was ordered in their favor. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.